Good afternoon, everyone. This is Tilt Nasty, a.k.a. Riley Hitchcock, going to bring to you my thought process and mentality going into this finals match of Week 9 World Championship qualifying, just to provide a different perspective of what goes through our minds during these matches, the pressure, the intensity, and the shot making that's required to get to World Championship 2021. Easy shot here, right down the middle, playing Cheezus. Cheezus and I have a lot of history coming up through Golden Team Mobile, the league. Actually looking at our head-to-head, -head, we were 13 and 13. 26 matches coming in to this head-to-head. -head. We've come up through the ranks through purple, bronze, silver, and now in gold. So this approach shot, obviously, javelin all the way, perfect middle flag, easy to get that line. For me, I went two clicks to the right here. That one and a half, just gonna bring it back just slightly. I'm telling you what, I was super pumped when this went in. Had to actually take a stand up out of the chair, take a breath. The pressure is absolutely real. But my thoughts here, obviously holding out, knowing one, two, and three are easily gettable. I definitely was thinking Jesus made this as well. Such an easy look, and for me, it was all about GSPs going forward. Interesting shot here, as Chad Shrump called it in the match yesterday. I did get this a little to the left. I knew it. It was not a clean swipe, but you know what? I picked up GSPs, knew those would be crucially important, and this was another one that I thought Jesus could definitely get. So had to really think that he was one better at this point. Jesus going with a similar shot, straight downwind. Just got to play that right to just slightly. Got it to the right. I was to the left, but obviously picked up points here as well. You know, easy hole could have been could have been made, uh, but definitely kind of settled down after picking up some points here myself. And really wanted to just ensure. You know, don't make any mistakes throughout the rest of this round. And keep adding to that point total, knowing that that's the tiebreaker at the end. Heading to the third hole. You could play this to the left. I'm not in love with where that flag is. I truthfully always play this out to this position. Uh, I thought Jesus may go to the left here. It was interesting to see him kind of follow suit. Uh, but, you know, just put it out there. Give yourself a little bit of that, that left, uh, left to right breaking uphill shot. He went with the, the jab here. I hit this shot quite a bit, too. It's always tough to judge how that thing's going to hop to the right. Uh, I actually went sniper here. It just felt much more comfortable. Felt like it was an easier uh, and more pointable shot. But I just got it a little to the right. Definitely didn't want to come up short there. Leave myself with a chip or a ranger putt. Uh, but settled in, took a deep breath. This hole was actually interesting. So I'm obviously a sniper to the island, take a little bit off of it to account for not going over. Jesus doing the same. So before I hit this next shot, I actually had to put the iPad down. The nerves started to kind of creep in. I started to think about uh, pointing this, making sure I didn't make a mistake, settling the hand. Let me tell you, the nerves were real, especially knowing this was a makeable shot. I know this javelin full will go 275. I hit it full, wasn't going to leave it short. Get it up there, try to pick up some more points. Didn't, but no harm, no foul. Was able to calm the nerves after walking around for about a solid minute before hitting that shot. So literally put the iPad down and got up. Uh, sniper here, I think Jesus and I both hit the same shot. This is just one of those, don't make the mistake of going left and in the water. So be safe, 20, 30 feet right of the hole. Get your eagle, move on again. At this point, when you're one, when you're one better, you're just thinking, don't, don't make a mistake, don't give anything away. Get some points if you can and try to make it through these last few holes. Now six, this is a hole that I know very well. I know a four wood 
into a 10 mile an hour wind goes 255 of a silver tee. So this was, this was bread and butter for me. Didn't want to get overly aggressive. I know Cheezus took a really aggressive approach to this. Just sneaks it on. Uh, but again, knowing I've got 35,000 or 33,000 points, I got to think I'm, I need some more points here is, is really what I was hunting. Going into seven, I really just want to pick up a few more points. Two ways to play this hole. I went to the right. I just know that that left eight wind, I'll have a downwind shot into the hole. Easy flag. Probably be a three wood or four wood. Cheese is going the left way. Nothing wrong with this approach as well. Given that flag, uh, easy to use the jab one from that short rough but uh, this one was just a, a money look going with the sniper just dial it in drop it right in there pick up some more gsps that put me at almost 50k after that shot i knew i was feeling really really good at that point still thought jesus and i would be tied really had to kind of bank on him either holding out one or holding out two they were just so gettable you know, he obviously had a very gettable look here with the javelin. Just got to play that left two win and that right four break. Uh, probably just needed to start that either straight or just left of the hole. Get your eagle. Get out of here. Move on to eight. Eight was an interesting one. I moved around the box with a gold tee trying to find that right yardage. I finally settled in on that back left. Knowing this down, down nine. We take it about 10 to 12 yards farther. So kind of have a doubt in there. Cheeses getting aggressive with the line here, just a little deep. Uh, as you'd expect, I said that at yeah, 293, 294. That went about an extra 10, 12 yards. Uh, just not a flag to really get aggressive with. Really like to see that pin in the middle or the back where you can use that javelin, uh, either three wood or high lofted driver. This was one, just don't make the mistake. I'd love to throw a, a javelin in there if I was playing in a gold contest, but knowing I'm one better, 50K in points, just get a grabber on the green, make birdie, see if it's enough. I like Cheese's aggressive shot here with the sniper. Uh, Surprise that came up short, honestly, when I saw it in the air, I thought it was gonna be good. Uh, but nonetheless, get the birdie, one better, 50K GSPs. Tip my hat if he beats me. I was fortunate to move on. Great match by Cheezus. Certainly looking forward to seeing him in another world qualifying final match very soon.